We begin this afternoon with breaking developments in the days-long effort to recover a car out of the water at the end of the Virginia Beach Fishing Pier. You're looking at video from just a couple of hours ago as the car was lifted out. We have blurred this video because police confirmed one person was found inside. A News 3 reporter Kelsey Jones has been there all morning long. Kelsey, good afternoon. What can you tell us? Yeah, hey Jen, just before 9.30 a.m., the car that drove into this pier that you see behind me was recovered, and it was a fairly quick process, actually shorter than what police expected. Again, police have confirmed with us that a body was inside of the car, and it was an all-hands-on-deck effort to bring some form of closure to that person's family. Now, this has been quite the devastating situation here in the Virginia Beach community. If you take a look at your screen, you can see this red Nissan being pulled out of the water. Crofton Industries assisted police with the recovery. We have blurred this video as it may be graphic to some viewers. However, police say a body was in the car. Up until today, conditions were not safe for drivers because of how rough the current has been. And there's still many questions after the car was in the ocean floor for days. I spoke with a spokesperson for the Virginia Beach Police Department to learn if this was a suicide attempt as the boardwalk is filled with signs raising awareness about suicide. People at the ocean front lined up to see this all play out. Um, we came out here today to just kind of bring awareness to the seriousness of mental health, you know, what people can do to get help, and, you know, really just the, the best options to take. And I think a lot of people in Virginia Beach right now are hugging their loved ones a little tighter and they're uh, they're just trying to reach out to the people they love and make sure that they're okay. Medical examiners are now working to confirm this person's identity. Be sure to stay with News 3 as we bring you the latest updates as we learn more. For now, live in Virginia Beach, I'm Kelsey Jones, News 3. Thank you, Kelsey. And News 3 has followed this story since the beginning and will continue to track the latest details as they are revealed. To stay up to date, you could follow along through the News 3 app or at WTKR.com. And we will also, of course, bring you the latest this afternoon on News 3 at 4.